Today we're exploring the lifestyle of living in a neighborhood in San Diego that is known for having the most beautiful homes, Mission Hills. We'll be covering everything from its prime location, what the average price is to purchase a home, and just the overall lifestyle and charm of this neighborhood. For me personally, it ranks in my top three favorite places to live in San Diego. Let's go check it out. If this is your first time to my channel, welcome. And if you want to learn everything there is to know about San Diego and surrounding areas so you can live like a local, make sure you subscribe, tap that bell to be notified so you can be first to learn about the market here in San Diego, California. My name is Jamie and my team and I help people from all over the country relocate and invest. So whether you're looking to make a move now or you're just planning ahead for your future, Make sure you give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, because we are happy to help you make that move to the best city in California where we do everything but the packing. Mission Hills is situated up on hills, which is why you'll get these stunning views overlooking the San Diego Bay and then also out to downtown San Diego. It's in a neighborhood or a community which we refer to as the Uptown community, and it includes Mission Hills, Bankers Hills, and University Heights. Even though Mission Hills borders Hillcrest and Bankers Hill, there really is nothing quite like it. It is a very distinguishable neighborhood and it has some of the most stunning homes. It's well known for its tree-lined streets, even though right now there's not a lot on the street that I'm at. It also has, you know, historic architecture and, of course, views. As you're driving down the I-5 freeway, you can see all of the homes hillside. So if you're driving north down the 5, on the right, off Washington Street, that's where you'll see all the beautiful homes. You'll know exactly what I'm referring to. There are multiple historic districts here. You have the Fort Stockton Line Historic District, which is this road right behind me. And then there is the Mission Hills Historic District. These were established to protect basically the aesthetic of the neighborhood, right? To hold its old world charm. And they're doing a really good job at it. The neighborhood was officially established in 1908. So over the years, they just have done an amazing job at preserving these homes and the land. There's actually the Mission Hills Heritage too, which is a local organization that seeks to preserve a, a vast collection of historic homes. So they have bungalow, craftsman, prairie school, Spanish revival, mission revival, and colonial revival homes. This is the neighborhood for architecture lovers. The homes in Mission Hills are some of the most desirable, especially for those who prefer an older home and are looking for that Spanish style or mid-century mo modern style that you just cannot get with newer development. I will say restored homes are my all-time favorite. You cannot convince me that buying new construction is a better option over restoring an older home. The two just do not compare for a multitude of reasons. You will not find the cookie cutter homes here. And in fact, over 300 residences have been honored as designated historic homes. Let's go check one out. oldest home in Mission Hills. 
It's on Orizaba Street and it was built in 1887. Give you a little bit of the backstory. The name of the street was named after a steamship called Orizaba. And this home was actually built for the captain of that ship because he could see the home when he was guiding the ship into harbor when he was returning home. To think back in the day, looking out from the bay and all you would see are rolling hills and this one home sitting hilltop, it's pretty cool. Stop by a local cafe called Kettle and Stone for a coffee that we don't necessarily need, so we'll see how this goes. <laughs> One of the things that sets Mission Hills apart from pretty much all neighborhoods in San Diego is it's this unique blend of this old world charm with modern amenities. Not only are there historic homes, but the buildings are also historic, which adds to this overall aesthetic of the neighborhood. There are restaurants and shops here, but I feel most residents will travel to either Old Town or Hillcrest for most of their shopping because they're all right next to each other. Mission Hills does have nice places, which for the majority of them, they're going to be on Washington Street and Fort Stockton Drive. The rest is all neighborhoods, all homes. It's a place where you always see people out walking throughout the day, you know, walking the dog, taking a walk with the kids. It has that, um, like Pleasantville feel to it. Remember that movie? Back in like, I don't know, the late 90s, I think. Hi, you bud. Hi, you Skip. Hi, you bud. Hi, you Skip. It kind of reminds me of that. It's a very tight-knit community, right? A place where everyone waves hi to their neighbors, which is very nice. All right, let's chat about housing. Of course, one of the most important things to consider when thinking about moving to any city or neighborhood is a cost for housing. We've already established that Mission Hills has some of the most stunning architecture and it's great location wise, but how much does it cost to actually live here? The homes here are one of a kind and they definitely come with that hefty price tag, but the homes also average on the larger scale in terms of square footage. So you see a lot of like five bedroom homes here. Now, there are apartments, there's condos, there's multifamily units here, but majority of the neighborhood will be detached single family homes. All right, so starting price for a single family home is going to be right around 1.3 million. That is starting. And what that's gonna get you is a nice, like quaint three bedroom house, which most likely was built back in the 20s, but it goes up from there obviously. Once you start getting into the hills, we start to see homes valued over 3 million, 4 million, but these will also have like ample square footage and most likely be overlooking either the San Diego Bay or the backside of a canyon. Of course, the actual cost of housing in Mission Hills depends on a number of factors like the size of the home, the location of the home, the condition of the property, and of course, whether or not it has a view and what that view is. The price points do vary because the homes are just all very different and unique from one another. One thing to note is that because there is this vast amount of homes sitting hillside, it does take away from having a backyard. Not all homes, of course, but you could see a stunning 4,000 square foot home, you know, overlooking the San Diego Bay that has no yard, only decks, multiple decks, 
the decks. So this could impact the desirability. It's like a give and take situation. Currently right now, as I'm filming this for you in April of 2023, there are only nine detached homes available on the market, which is not a lot. It's an area where the average homeowner stays in their property for over 10 years, which shows us that there is not a big turnover here, right? So it's very typical in a neighborhood of this caliber. And what I mean by that is when you get into those neighborhoods where the average price for a home is over two million, those tend to be sold to people who are looking for their forever home, right? They're moving up, people moving up from their starting home and then buying their more long-term property. I mentioned that there are condos here, not many, but they are an option for those looking to specifically get in this neighborhood but isn't quite ready for that detached home. There are currently zero condos on the market, but if you're looking to purchase a condo, the average price will be around 700,000, and most of the condos are going to be located off Washington Street, closer to the five freeway. With views of Old Town, downtown, and the San Diego Bay, what is not to love about the location of Mission Hills? There are beautiful homes with roughly 50,000 friendly and welcoming residents, and of course, views, views, and more views. It's easy to see why Mission Hills is such a popular place to live. Hey, thanks for joining me today while I take you on a tour around one of my favorite neighborhoods in San Diego. I do hope you found this video informative and helpful, especially if you're looking to make a move to San Diego and are looking for just the right area. Like I mentioned before, whether you're looking to make a move now or you're just planning ahead for your future, make sure you give me and my team a call, shoot us a text, send us an email because we are happy to help you make that move when the time is right. And as always, my friends, stay classy, San Diego.